All right, everyone, Elizabeth Warren is completely insane. I think she's probably angling to get in on the race, and this is why she's coming out making such a, an obviously dumb proposal. This is gra It's great for primaries. See, the problem is, uh, and the Republicans have this problem too, during the primaries, the constituency you're trying to woo is totally different than the constituency you have to do in the general. And so people always like waffle and do the lawyer speak thing and try not to answer too many questions or form too much of a platform. They mainly try to insult their way to the top and then and then they say Trump is the only one that ever did this. It's very funny and, and historically wrong. Uh, Elizabeth Warren has decided, well, I think that wealth above 50 million should be taxed additionally. And it's basically like she's taking up an Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez line because she looked at that and she said, wow, that really connected with the Democrats, at least the, the far left, like the youth vote and stuff. Warren's sitting there thinking, well, I've got an exploratory committee. Like she's, she's thinking of getting in on the 2020 race. In which case, by the way, she would technically be the front runner on day one, which is hilarious. Uh, it, it'd be, it's an odd field, let's just put it that way. Um, she comes, she's thinking of coming in, she's like, well, I can probably raise my approval among the Democrats, because I think in, in polls she's at 3 or 4% as far as the proportion of Democrats that want her to be the nominee. Now, that's, a, that's among a packed field in which half of those people might not run. She might absorb support, but she's certainly no Joe Biden. She's no Bernie Sanders, popularity-wise, or even Hillary Clinton. That's a problem. How do you become more popular? Oh, we're going to eat the rich. Yeah, we're going to beat up on those evil rich people. You see, the problem is, and it's the same with Cortez's uh, uh, proposal. 70% marginal, let's look at her proposal and what it really means. If you create a 70% marginal tax rate on, the, true, on the, the, the billionaires and stuff, you will also have to raise the tax brackets on people that make less than that. Otherwise, your tax system is so lopsided, it makes so little sense, people will deliberately take a pay cut and downsize just to not be in that bracket. That's It would de destroy the economy in the most literal sense. Everyone capable of creating jobs with the money to invest would divest themselves from the U.S. economy entirely, put their cash elsewhere. You would be hemorrhaging productivity and money. If you, if you think the Great Recession was bad, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's plan, if fully implemented, would destroy the U.S. economy. We would be third world. We would no longer have productivity. It would probably cause a counter-revolution or something. Elizabeth Warren's tax plan would function similarly. Just because you say, well, wealth over 50 million, you know, you know your actual uh, holdings, like property, your total value, we're going to basically rob it from you. The problem is that you will also end up in such a system doing that to people that don't make 50 million. What do we know about the bracket of, let's say, anywhere from a million a year to 50 million, or, or at least in holdings or something? You do realize that there are farms out there that are valued in the tens of millions despite pulling in virtually no actual year-over-year -year, uh, income in the black, correct? Like a, like a big-time farmer, I've got 100 acres of something, okay, how much is each of the, uh, are each of those acres worth? $10,000, $20,000 in some cases? That's a lot of money now, isn't it? On paper, that farmer's damn rich. <laughs> you see, the problem is, year over year, their actual productivity, though high, and though subsidized by the government, barely make ends meet. You gotta buy the seed. You gotta buy the fertilizer because people haven't, you know, gotten hip to crop rotation and, and companion planting yet. We, we haven't developed the technology yet to plant two crops in the same field and still harvest them. It's like, put fucking two components on the tractor. It's as simple as that. Problem solved. Grow beans with your corn. Use half the fertilizer. Wonderful. Soil structure's better too. Uh, less leaching from it. Someone invent that. Become a trillionaire. Uh, maybe it's already been invented and people are just uh, stubborn and stupid. Uh, the farmer looks wealthy on paper. Well, he's got $10 million of holdings, maybe $20 million. Is the government going to come in and harass that farmer? I bet anything Elizabeth Warren would be dumb enough to do that. Small, like a regional business. Oh, I got like five, six gas stations. You know, maybe I make like, you know, a couple hundred grand in, in the, the black a year. Okay, person again is going to look rich on paper. And they're productive. They're hiring a bunch of people. They probably have how, how many people work at each of those stations. They got 30, 40 employees or something. And a bunch of other, you know, truckers come in. They get contracted to do that. They're making their money. They come in, provide the goods. Other companies come in. People buy those goods because they want to, because they're productive members of society, and the money keeps flowing around within this private marketplace. That person who owns those gas stations and a, and a condo in addition to their first home looks rich on paper. They're also very productive. The amount of productivity they're pumping into the economy is incommensurate with the, with the actual amount of uh, holdings that they have anyway. It's good, it's, it's good to be wealthy if you're you know, being productive with it, 
you're investing, you're causing more jobs to be created or whatever. Uh, really, when consumer confidence and business confidence is high, that tends to be to happen. When those things, when people like Elizabeth Warren are elected and come in talking about how they hate the rich and those evil rich people, including Elizabeth Warren, isn't she, how much is she worth? How many tens of millions does she have in holdings? Okay, she's going to give them up. No, she'll use a tax shelter. Let's, uh, yeah, exactly. Gr uh, great idea, too. Like when Bloomberg proposes, you know, higher taxes, he's not going to be the one paying them. No, he, he'll use a tax shelter. Oh, no, my money's in the Cayman Islands or Bermuda or something. You know, I don't have to pay taxes on it. Yeah, I get a home over in Belize or something. Yeah, I don't pay any U.S. taxes on it. Yeah, I enjoy all of the benefits of, you know, basically owning half the Senate, say, say all the rich people. What a wonderful time. And Elizabeth Warren's rich, too. Look up her net worth. How much is her net worth? If she's in, uh, impacted in any way, don't you think she'll take some of that wealth, squirrel it overseas to avoid that? I know I would. Let's say that I had uh, $100 million in, in holdings. Re regardless, like, a couple homes, a limo, fucking fleet. Or so. I'm, I'm rich, you know, like super rich. Let's say the government comes out and says, well, we're going to start taking away a large proportion of all your holdings over $50 million a year over year, or, or maybe it's a one-time thing. Okay, I don't have over $50 million in holdings because I just put them somewhere else. No, 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 my bank account, I, I transferred all that money to France or something. Yeah, no, it's it's in uh, uh, Cyprus. It's over in uh, Qatar. <laughs> yeah, you can't touch it. You're not going to tax it. You think they're going to grandfather it in for money that was there a year before? No, it's not going to happen. You realize how slowly things move in government anyway. The mere proposal, let's say you had President Warren and the Democrats take the centers on, and she's made this suggestion. A lot of rich people are going to start moving a hell of a lot of their assets overseas, and there won't be a way to stop them. You'll see the economy collapse beginning day one of Warren's administration. What a wonderful time. Yes, the, the uh, new head of the IRS, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She will break your kneecaps backwards and then dance on top of you uh, if, if you don't uh, pay your taxes, your 70% tax rate. But that's only the marginal rate. Okay, have, how many deductions are you going to put in there, by the way, if you do that? So you want to give more deductions. To billionaires you want the tax code to be even less straightforward you know and you know who's not going to be able to use those deductions people in the lower brackets that are dragged upwards anyway they're not i'm not going to be able to what you want me to pay like a 40 percent tax rate now instead of the the, the what 25 percent i'm going to have to pay because my uh, uh taxable uh income is self-employment so there's an extra 15 percent added on for no reason yeah, that's how much sense our tax code makes. Give me a fucking break with Elizabeth Warren worrying about other people's uh, productivity. It's very funny when these people, literally, they're openly coming out and talking about their fellow Americans who have succeeded as though they're bad people, as though they're universally corrupt. Yeah, richness and corruption can go hand in hand, but not every working rich individual, not every physician who makes a quarter mil a year uh, and, and has to pay half of that back out for insurance purposes. No, no, they're not corrupt at all. They're very hard working. What, work 50 hours a week? It's a lot more than Elizabeth Warren will ever work. That's about all. Peace out.